Congratulations. Thank you. Another huge turnaround game and series coming out from DRX, and this is going to be your seventh win of the split. How are you feeling, Bao? I'm glad that we won. I'm not satisfied, but it is a relief for us. <laughs> so we hear some echoes All right here. Uh, could you guys um, help us with the um, settings? And moving on, music. congratulations. How are you feeling? I think... My own performance was good, but the game was not that easy. It was pretty tough. <laughs> so that's a bit of a bummer, but still, I'm glad that we were able to win. <laughs> we had another three game series, and I want to ask you about Kindred game. This champion got super fed in a very early game, and this is a champion that you actually played in the previous series and you popped off. And there, that game was very tough for you guys, right? So how do you rate Kindred in the current meta right now? In game 2, I think Kindred, Kindred has one of the... Um, Idealistic game possible. I think uh, our top laner thought Volibear wins up against um, Renekton based on the champion matchup, but he kept losing in both games 1 and 2 and also in the early game. So once Kindred gets unleashed, like unleashed like that, it's it's definitely good. But if the game goes without any actions, actually Kindred is not the best champion to play this game. And Bao, it's really weird to put it this way, but DRX was able to actually out macro a freak of freaks because we don't want to kind of we didn't really pay attention to your macro ability because you guys are a squad of rookies. First off, King Yen and Pusik are always so proactive leading us. So we were able to have a very easy kind of lead following their calls. <laughs> Pusik with that smile after the Bao's answer. And Bao, you picked up three drinks and also you stole away the Elder. I think you are better than Pyosik picking up this, um, locking down this objective. When we were having that fight, Pyosik was like, I'm super confident in the smite fight, and turned out I was the one stealing it away. I mean, I saw the Zaya's auto action going off, so I used my smite and skills all in, but it's all about the luck, you know? Whether Zaya's auto lands first or whether my skills and smite goes off first, but he just got lucky to pick up that elder, to be honest. What matters is. Zaya is the fact that I used my skills after seeing the Zaya's auto animation, you know? The mechanical level. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that makes sense too. In DRX, you guys always play three games. You guys are able to farm a lot of XP after playing huge number of games. Does that really help you guys to kind of grow? I think we never like played two games, so it does kind of make us a little bit exhausted. However, Becca also popped off even though he could not win this POG, but he was actually the playmaker on the side of DRX for game three. So as a duo partner, Bao, could you kind of elaborate what happened in the um, early turret dive on the bottom lane? I... Yeah, I got ganked very early. I got dove, but we were pretty sure we could just trade two kills from Africa. 
Was that the communication? Yeah, we thought that we could get two kills as DM trade. And Bao, unlike a rookie player, you are just so good. The fans and even the experts and not even I am very fascinated by your play. I think you are going to become one of the biggest stars in the LCK. I think you are the best AD carry in my heart, to be honest. How can you be uh, so good? And how can you play like a veteran like this? I don't know. I just... You know, I think my teammates are doing a fantastic work. I was doing my best, so I got better. Physic, being one of the teammates, I think a lot of the rookie players on the side of DRX are actually performing really well. And they look so kind of chilled. We just, like, we, we always, like, tell each other, wait for our tempo, wait for your tempo to come, don't, like, get hasty, you know, wait for your turn to kind of shine. We don't, we don't, we don't get hasty and we don't just get over eager to make actions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, DRX has been super good. I think Pusik was one of the center pieces to set up DRX. And Pusik, finally, you got the first win for Dr. Mundo in the split after losing two games. Is Mundo a good champion? Well, I did lose two games on Mundo, but that's not my fault, to be honest. I don't think I should have lost that game, but that was out of my control, you know? I think Mundo is really good. Will there be more Mundo games incoming? Do you think other players should also try this? I think Dr. Mundo needs this kind of a circumstance around it, but whenever they have the right situation and when the other players also realize the charming points of Mundo, they will start playing it. <laughs> <laughs> so that, your Mundo was not a problem, right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were able to pick up that win with that Mundo performance, but Africa Freaks was actually having a very aggressive move. They were kept winning some skirmishes. Did you guys feel a little bit nervous about it? I think in the early game, you know, I got vertical jungled by the opponent, so I kind of predicted that if a late invade happens, I knew that I was going to lose to camp, and they did. But after that, Olaf actually dread went for the bottom dive. So I was able to go in for some counter jungling and I was able to get some breathing room. And that's where I got back onto the game. And we have a question from our Korean broadcast team. Why are you keep using this TPA Mundo skin over and over and over? Cloud Templar is watching. Music. <laughs> TPA Mundo, the skin. Because I like the um, animation and the donk coming out from the trophy, you know? And also, I wanted to bully Cloud Templar oh, just a little bit. I just wanted to pick on him. <laughs> You'll be facing up against HANA Life Esports in your upcoming series. That's going to be a fight for the top spot in the LCK. How are we going to prepare for that? In the first round, we did lose to HANA Life, but we will work even harder to make sure to take them down this time around. I figure another rematch with Chilvi and Deft, your old former teammates. To be honest, I think Hana Life in round one 
Ian, Hana, Hana Life in round two, or the recent Hana Life are really different. I think they have made a huge process. I think we have to make a lot of preparation in order to play well in that series. And this will be the end of the interview from Pao Pusik, the POGs on the side of DRX, and back to our casters. Thank you.